Greetings and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Fiarlia and today we return to Lucius. Now let's find out what these things are. What is it? What did that do? Oh. When I win, it's not paper that you bring. When you lose, it's scissors that you choose? What? The hell? What? Oops, wrong thing. I don't... I guess I get more things when I do more chores, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, we still have Uncle Tom, so we don't know who is next. I think I forget if there was a hint, unfortunately. But I have something on my map. Damn it, wrong key. Uh, that tells me where to go. So that's a good thing. Oh, I have to go all the way out to the uh, yard. And I wonder if I need to use that memory r eraser thing. Am I killing you? Yep, I'm killing you. All right. Who are you? Well, that's right. I'm supposed to kill somebody that's closer to me. Um, so who are you? <laughs> Antonio. I wonder, am I killing you because you've been fucking my mom? Is that what the devil said by getting too close? I don't know, maybe maybe mom is in it with the devil as well. Who knows? God damn it, I keep hitting escape instead. Antonio Gardner. <clears throat> That's, uh... His last name is Gardner. And he's mowing the lawn. Oh my. Antonio is cutting the grass again. I could probably somehow break his mower. I wonder why he always looks like he just came from a disco. <laughs> that is amusing. I do like that. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? I already turned the power on for here, so that's good. Let's see, do I... Probably not the screwdriver. No, I don't think the fountain pen. Maybe the wrench, but I assume that I'd have to get him away from the lawnmower somehow to do anything with it. Hmm, matches, a flashlight, keys, bullets, super glue, nail gun. Huh. No, I don't really... I don't really seem to have anything that screams out, hey, do this. And, of course, nothing on the map either. So this is going to be one of those episodes where I cut out a lot because I'm wandering and trying to figure out what the hell to do. Maybe I need to mind control him and get him away? Nope, nope, that's not it. Nope, I can't make him forget. <clears throat> Excuse me. Apparently that's the whole forgetting thing is just them forgetting that they saw me it has nothing else to do with it I was thinking maybe he would forget that he was supposed to be mowing the lawn and go do something else, but obviously that is incorrect So I don't Know what I'm supposed to do Maybe I need to Why did I get a rock? Oh Can I use the rock on the lawnmower? No. Well, what is, what is, what is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There, there. I just... Oh. It's in front of him. Does, does the place where I put the rock move? Where did it go? It's gone. It was over here. Oh. I took the rock out of my hand. There it is. Okay, so the item's been used correctly. Okay, so he's gonna mow over it, and it's probably gonna cause the lawnmower to stop, and then he's gonna go get something to try to fix it, and I have to fuck up his fixing this somehow. Okay, so now what do I what am I gonna be doing after after he hits the rock? Son of a where did this rock come from? I bet I can fix this. Oh, is 
He seems to be trying to get that mower working again. This could be my chance. Okay, so let's see. Maybe... Ha ha ha! Yeah? Come on! Why is it... Ah, uh, Dios, man, what happened? Ah! Uh, son of a bitch. It wasn't enough. He managed to get away from the blade. Damn it! Do I need a bigger rock? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, oh, maybe I give him the wrench? I say, here. Take the wrench, try working on it again, and that'll make him stay there longer. No? God damn it. Maybe give him the screwdriver. Here. Come on. Wonder, can I control your mind now? Oh! Why... I was... I didn't get the message that he was too strong. Oh, that's right! I forgot I can control them and make them do specific things. Damn it. I don't know why the hell I forgot that, that I had to click on the thing. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, wow! I mean... I don't think that that's exactly how that would play out. But that's still really fucking cool. His head was bigger than the lawnmower was wide, or I guess high. Alright. I went weeks without a proper night's sleep. I just couldn't wrap my head around everything as if something was evading me. I resorted to the church for help. Not good. My hope was that they could visit the house and maybe help some of the people there, offer counsel, whatever it is priests do. I was wrong. Predictably, there was another accident, this time in the garden. One of the most bizarre things I had ever seen. I had no solid explanations, and the press were hounding the department for information. Those vultures were constantly circling the mansion. Everything in my world was falling apart. Didn't the dead tell him I to go away? I was interviewing Charles Wagner on a daily basis now. He tried to tell me this was in a totally different realm. His father, Fabius, who I thought was a little batty, had gone missing by this stage. Everyone presumed he just took off to escape the stress. So, grandfather... What's really going on, oh. Dad? Have we been cursed? Do we have enemies? Are we being extorted? <laughs> or is this some sort of vendetta? Don't talk such rubbish, Charles. You're grabbing at straws. I know enough about your past mob ties. I know how we got our money. Well, that's interesting. You don't know shit. And don't ask. <laughs> Just be thankful for what I've given you. Have you no feelings, Dad? Why didn't you come to Tom's funeral? He was a wastrel, and he died a wastrel's death. He was no son of mine. That's cold by any stretch. You're a heartless, bitter old man. Who's given you everything you could have ever possibly wanted, and now it's time for payback. There are events afoot which are far beyond anything you would understand. Did he make a deal with the devil earlier to- I'm gonna lose this election. My world is falling apart. Lucius won't speak. Nancy is losing her mind. And you're crazy too! I didn't realize that I was silent. We're all just pawns in the larger scheme of things. These people, they're just fodder for death's eventual scythe. You only need to play your role, Charles, and be a good boy. There are rewards for those who endure to the end. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is that the creatures? Oh, no! No. I wonder if they're going to bother me like the crosses do. Good afternoon, miss. I'm Father Lagel of the Winter Hill Diocese, and this is Father DeCosin. We've heard of the unfortunate tribulations that have befallen this house, and we've come to offer a blessing for better days for this place. Would the master or mistress Who be home? Who is that? What? Get 
the hell out of my house. Yeah. Oh, parasites. Take your skirts back to the poor mix in town. They'll swallow your Jesus crap. But get off my lawn, or I'll give you a reason to pray for your Easter bunnies. <laughs> yes. Here on my property. Make sure they're let out those gates. Uh oh. They know. Is that a priest being a creeper looking around for a little boy? Oh my. Oh wait, no, that's that's the journalist. Okay. Well, at least we know Lucius's butt's gonna be safe. What is... what is he hoping to find? Is he gonna see anything? I mean, what importance does he really have to the plot so far? Oh, he's breaking in? What the hell, man? Holy shit. Is, is the next chapter going to be at night and I kill him in the middle of the night? But so far there's been a month between each killing, right? So... Oh, fuck. How the hell did he find this place? How, how would he... I actually did wonder why the 1930 was on the floor. Who are you? Oh. What are you doing here? Good. Ah. ah, you surprised me. I'm Wayne Preston from the Herald. I'd like a word with you about recent events here at Dante Manor. I'm willing to pay handsomely for information. How about you pay handsomely for your Don't bail you money? Don't know who I am? Oh, Mr. Wagner, I'm so sorry. I tried the doorbell, but there was no answer. It looked like it would rain, so I simply... You're trespassing. I could have you shot. Bap him! Do it! Hey! Wait now! Oh! Nice! I didn't know if he would actually do it. Oh, is he gonna be taken down to the chamber and strapped down? Oh, I need to go check that at the next mission. Yeah, is Satan going to be mad at me because I didn't kill somebody closer to me like I was supposed to have done? Ah, Lucius. What wonderfully gruesome offerings you have given to me. Yeah, just for you. Now we must go on the march. We must continue with no looking back. Right there with there you. There are those sniffing about, Lucius. They suspect. You must be on your guard. Indeed. But now, it is time to teach you the greater skills, so that you can protect yourself if the need arises. Well, do you like to light fires, Lucius? I'm a bit of a fan. Your daddy tells you not to play with matches, but I can show you a better way. Combustion skill. Start building your power and by pressing, you will whirl a fireball towards your target. Oh, that's very good. That didn't seem like much of a fireball. Just kind of a little. Oh, didn't notice the dummy. What talent! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that looked like a fireball. Now listen to me, Lucius. This skill can only be used sometimes, and in the most extreme situations. Each time you make a sacrifice for me, you can attain this skill, but only for a short time, until the power dissipates. Oh. So... Until it dissipates, does that mean that I have a time limit with which I can use it? April 1st, 1973. Betrayal. So, that sounds like it's gonna be family. Just the title, Betrayal. Uh-oh. Who's that? 
Who is that? Who is that? That's not Grandpa, is it? Oh, I thought I saw a knife. Come on, my boy. Oh, it is Grandpa, but I thought I saw a knife in his hand. So you've been exploring, and you found the chamber. Well done, Lucius. <laughs> Get your clothes on and meet me down there. Don't let anyone see you on the way. I noticed that not everyone is sleeping yet. I'm gonna light the reporter on fire, aren't I? That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, there's another thing there. Interesting. Uh, but we'll check that one in the next episode. But back to what I was saying, I cut myself off and waited because it was loading and then the whole date thing started and then that little cutscene. Anyway, he said that it dissipates. I wonder, does that mean that I only have a time limit with which I can use that combustion skill before it's just gone? Or does that mean that I have a limited number of uses? I don't know. But I'm curious to find out. Maybe I will. I don't know. Either way, that's it for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Yeah.